Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and welcome back to my channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm back again to do another reaction to an Amberlynn Reed vlog. Before anybody asks, neither of my dogs wanted to sit here with me today, and I'm not in the business of forcing them to sit somewhere they don't want to sit. So, uh, it's just me. But I'm sure they'll be back for a future video. In fact, actually, Poe is in the room with me. He just really doesn't want to sit on that chair. I put him up there, like, once or twice, and he immediately jumped down both times. And so, I just said, listen, it's it's okay. It's all right. You lay wherever you want in this house. It's your home, not mine, and I'm just living in your world, bestie. But anyways, we are going to react to an Amberlynn Reed video. This one probably is a little bit old to some of you if you keep up with her videos outside of my channel. She did post this one on Saturday, and normally when she does that and I don't react to stuff on the weekends as she posts them, I usually just give a recap, but then and today, the video she posted was her trying out this new concept where she posts all of the P.O. Box stuff in one video. And while I encouraged her to do that, the main reason I encouraged her to do that is so that I didn't have to watch it on my channel. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to watch anything on my channel, but I just, like, am really not interested in the P.O. unboxing stuff, especially after fucking Cake Gate. So, uh, she can have that video all to herself all over there. Uh, I'll probably watch it just because you know, she said that she was gonna base whether or not people liked it on how many views she got on it, so I don't want her to think that I, she should go put it back in her normal vlogs. I do want her to continue keeping it separate, but I'm just, like, not gonna react to it right here. Does that check out? Does that make sense? So we are going to react to the video that she posted on Saturday because I haven't actually watched it. And it's called My Favorite Meal Lately, New Tattoo, New Family Member, and Therapy Homework Bar Vlog. I'm curious what the favorite meal part, that's probably going to be my favorite part of this, of this video. I'm fairly confident. I'm sure the new tattoo is a tattoo wifey got and not a tattoo that she herself got. A uh, new family member, I don't know. <laughs> it's not a pet. You know it's not a pet because she said she couldn't even have a fish because it would go against her lease. So I'm going to guess maybe a plant. And then therapy homework, I don't know. We're probably going to talk about PTSD because that's the most recent thing she talked about in relation to therapy. So yeah, I guess that's where we're at. <laughs> I guess that's where we're at today. Okay, you guys, so my okay. fridge is at that point again where... We're not... We're, we're at that point again where we're not getting, like, real intros or whoever, whatever. I feel like she just films a bunch of clips and puts them all together to the extent that, like, she has enough for a vlog. You know what I'm saying? Like, it feels like there's no rhyme or reason to, like, where we start vlogs off, <laughs> where they end. It seems like she just throws a bunch of clips together that she has, she has been filming. Also, look at this fridge. She's got food for fucking days in there. Damn. <laughs> Shit. Okay, work. It is a mess. So. What are we play doing? Like spy if you want. I'm not. I don't, I'm not. I'm not. It's crazy. So I'm, I'm not. Gonna do a little before. I'm not because one, I'm not close enough to really be able to make anything out for sure, and two, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I think I think number two is even more important, and that's the part where I don't give a shit. And then I want to show you after I clean it. So here's Let's before, go. and then here's after. Plot twist: It's been a few days since I filmed that clip. Ah! <laughs> what did I just tell you about her just? putting some shit together. She's just putting clips together. It's been a few days. It's been a few days. And I forgot all about it. But as I was editing, I was like, you know what? I'm going to show them my fridge that, anyways. As she was editing. As she was editing. <laughs> as she was editing, she realized she just had this clip hanging out. Oh, I never, I never filmed an after for them, so let me let me go do it now. Here it is. <gasps> Not the fucking shrimp platter. <laughs> Not the shrimp cake platter. Did you all see that? Nothing special. A little do you see that? Do you see that right there? 
She said, Cakegate simply wasn't enough. Revisiting Shrimpgate simply wasn't enough. I'm gonna just have a shrimp platter hanging out in my fridge. <laughs> Losing my mind over here. Little fridge tour. I do have some dragon fruit. I've never had I don't before, give so I'm a, I don't give a some shit. Food, some cucumbers. Are we gonna address this? The shrimp platter? Shrimp pudding. Cottage cheese. I don't know. Oh, and we're doing HelloFresh. We've been doing it for Work. a little bit. It's just Work. I've, I've been sponsored by them on Twitch. I do actually enjoy the HelloFresh. If, if I'm ever sponsored again on the Twitch, I'll let you all know so you can use my code. It's easier. We have a drawer full of hot sauce. You know. Uh, as one does. H heaven forbid using those little drawers for, like, fruits and veggies like they're intended. You better put all all your fucking hot sauce bottles in there. Yes. Actually, kind of uh, inspirational. I love hot sauce. Hello. So Hi. Today is the day where Feline is getting her whole sleeve started. Um, we're going to be at the tattoo wow. place for over eight hours. Super excited. What are you going to do but there? I want to show you guys her arm before. I can't imagine also, like, doing that. <laughs> I don't know. The longest tattoo I got was my Furby on my leg. If you if you haven't seen it, I mean, I'm wearing pants right now, so you wouldn't be able to see it. But I'll maybe try to remember to pop up a, a picture of it. But I, I sat there for, I can't remember, it was somewhere six to eight hours that day to get it done. And it was unbearable just to be the person sitting there. Like, I can't imagine tagging along to do what? I mean, I, I would say maybe give some emotional support to wifey, but wifey clearly has other tattoos. I don't know. Listen, she's getting out of the house. Let me not discourage that. You you go sit at the tattoo shop for eight hours. Yes, work. So let's go find her. Let's do let's it. Do that. All right, you guys, here is the before. Oh, wow. Oh, today. We are so blessed. <laughs> We're getting full arm, full arm moment, full side boob moment. We, we are getting so much of wifey's body. And this is also what's just so silly about the wifey thing for me at this point is that we've seen almost every single part of her body outside of her face. It doesn't make sense to me why we don't just see her face, you know? It, re it really doesn't at this point. She is, she is a headless body at this point. She even has a voice that we hear. And after this, you're going to be showing us the tattoos she's getting so that she's more easily definable in any kind of, like, person looking for her online. I don't get it. I don't get it. Today is when her tattoo is going to be started. You excited, All right. baby? I'm so excited, baby. Baby. I know you are. I can tell. Baby, so are you this excited? Is how now, and then when we get back from the tattoo place, I will show you Work. how much is done, and we'll talk about it. Oh, my God. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Yay. Oh, baby. Whoa, this place looks so clean and sterile and professional. Oh, this is so... Oh. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, that's all we get to see? That's that's it? That's it from the tattoo experience? Hello, hello. So it is the next day. We were at the tattoo place a little over eight hours. Okay. And I forgot to show you um, how it came out and stuff. But of course. Whoa, it looks so good. <laughs> it's not finished. I'll show you guys here in a minute. She's actually currently in the shower. I just like always, I mean, this is nothing new on the Amberlynn Reed channel, but I'm always uh, curious about how one who who has the job to vlog their life can forget to vlog things that they mean to vlog, you know? Like, it would be one thing if she said, like, oh, I wasn't ever planning on showing this to you, so I'm just telling you about it now. But, like, she literally led into that clip of, I'm going to show you what it looks like once it's done. And here she is. Oops, I forgot to show you. <laughs> I mean, it's just vlogging, so it's not, like, you know, some kind of, like, serious job. Like, it's not, like, a doctor who, like, left the scalpel inside of the patient after surgery, right? It's not, like, that kind of serious but damn, <laughs> damn if if most people couldn't get away with shit like that at their job. 
So in a month, she has another appointment because it's only halfway done. Sure. So yeah, this is how her. things work she sometimes. So good. Like she has so many tattoos, and yeah, now she just has like this thing over it, and we have to go by there today because they want to see like how her skin is doing with that big of a tattoo sure. and stuff. Sure, sure, sure. Do a little bit of bleeding, so. But well, yeah, yeah. Most most tattoos bleed a little. <laughs> it's like literally. One giant open wound on your skin. It's going really good. She's not having, like, any skin irritation or anything like that. There was, like, a little bit of pain yesterday. Uh, but she is doing good. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to show you guys, which I'm going to do that right here. Okay. All right. So, up top, we have Medusa. Oh. Um, oh, shit. Down below, we have David. Okay. Um, what's this a, whole what's with his is mouth? This take on hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Okay. Um, obviously, up top, we have Medusa, which is see no evil. David has the tape over his mouth. He's okay. speaking evil. And then I'm going to have Hades um, with his helmet on for hear no evil in the back of my arm. And his Cerberus is going to wrap around the back and to the front. Work. <laughs> so good, baby. Wow. That's a big tattoo. Damn. Okay, well, work. <laughs> work. Listen, I love I love people getting tattoos that they love. I'm obsessed with it. This is my post um, right here. There's I like also that. don't know if I necessarily understand it, but I don't know if it's for me to understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, also, people wouldn't understand my little Furby guy, and that's fine. It's not for them to understand. Uh, and that's how I feel about tattoos. I want everybody to love their tattoos. In the hair. And I'm glad wifey loves so her I have tattoo. To get, uh, the wrapping tape taken off today. So that's what we're about to head out and do. Yeah. And then they're going to replace it and keep it on for five days. Yep. Five, five days. days. Work. And it speeds up the healing process. Looks yeah, good, baby. they do have these these cool. I think this is the same thing that they put on my my Furby. It's like this this cool like healing bandage thing that's that's just flat you don't have to change it multiple times until it's just like done being on there and then you can peel it off it's it's so cool Maybe. So after we go to the tattoo place we're also going to go to Lowe's because okay. we need to find a home for this guy here okay this is our new family member. Oh, Riddles. <laughs> I've had people ask. I'm so good at predicting these things. I mean, she doesn't make it hard to do. I'm not special. <laughs> Let me just be clear. I'm not special. But yeah, how, how predictable that it would be a new tattoo for wifey and a, the new family member would be a plant. We have quite a few real plants. Oh, I love an umbrella plant. Is my favorite oh, wait, that is that a money have. tree? <laughs> My dumbass. That is a money tree. She is correct about that. We have one at our home, too. He used to be pretty small, but he has He's grown. thriving. He's growing some Thriving. More. Look how beautiful. Ah, uh, romance. Okay, so we're actually going to go to the store called At Home. Work. see if we can find a vase for that plant. Okay, also. Before we go to Lowe's. I've never been here. We have spent so much time out of our house. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Let's let's keep going. Before, have you? I don't even know what this is until... Oh, I guess neither of us have been here, so I'm excited. Oh my gosh, At so home, exciting. The home Superstore. Okay, so we found some huge guys. We need huge. something smaller than this. Yeah, that seems a little too big for the plant. Was the funniest thing in the world? <laughs> was it? <laughs> Wait, was it the funniest thing in the world? It was giving big uh, Zach. Zach, when they were like, how old was I? I was probably in elementary school, and my mom would take me to the store with her, and I didn't want to be there, and so I would go hide in the clothing racks and try to scare people. It's giving big elementary school child vibes and energy is what it's giving and i don't know probably funny to a toddler i would guess probably look at what we found i actually am obsessed baby are we are we you obsessed like with that no. i love it so i think wifey and i are on the same page i think wifey and i are both rightfully skeptical i believe we have to put him back because she needs to be able to water it from the bottom 
and you can't with this guy. There's also black. It's, it's giving God. huge mortar and pestle situation type of deal. It's so cute. I wish it was possible. You guys, I just fell in love with him. Why? Look at it. <laughs> Let me stop this. being so judgmental. The the white fluffy parts at the top are the part that I'm less like, and that is not my vibe. Look at all I just look at all my fans! Do y'all remember that iconic part of her intro from back in the day? Found aisles and aisles of fake plants. And they're all so cute. Are they? It literally keeps saying cute to everything I say. It's true. It's everything I see. It's, I think is cute. It's losing meaning. Oh, that's cute. I do like that. So we are getting this massive painting. Huh. And then we're also getting this. Be true to who you are. I am just not a fan of of word decor. <laughs> I wasn't a fan of her Chanel Prada Gucci, Chanel, whoever, whatever, little decor from the last Home Goods haul she did. And I'm not a fan of this. Like, I don't understand it. I mean, like, the occasional word here and there. But I don't... Not my not my style, but go off. Go off. This is this is your home. I don't have to live there. I, I like the bigger that. one, kind of. So we got this, like, glove uh, thing. This is, a, this is a big day for people who are fans of Wifey's Arm. <laughs> big. Big day for Wifey's Arms' biggest fans. Pets who are shedding, and it takes off like a ton of hair just by petting them. Look at that. Yeah, Twinkie loves. Does she? <laughs> she looks kind of terrified. <laughs> she likes her tummy rub the most. So, another Strawberry Hill update. I really want to speak to. I thought we were done! I thought we were done! I thought we were done. I thought we were done. I thought we were done. <laughs> Listen, uh, I will just say this here. This will be the fourth video now where I've talked about this. The second one that I talked about, I went at length and at depth about why I feel the way I feel about Cake Gate. And the third one, there were a lot of people in the comments that were like rehashing things that I had already addressed about why I feel the way we do, or the way we do, the way, <laughs> the way I do. And here's the thing, like, we just really have to like agree to disagree. It's fine. I really respect that a lot of people think differently about the situation. For me, so much of it is based on speculation from everybody, like everybody outside of like Amberlynn, the person who sent it and and the the cake company itself, right? And there's so many people who have claimed to be the person who sent it and there's all kinds of people who think that like their idea about what happened just automatically has to be the right idea because in their head they could never imagine it any other way and it <coughs> oh stop and honestly we're just like probably not gonna agree on it and that's the beauty of the internet is that uh, you're probably not always going to agree with me about everything, and I think that's okay. Uh, you know, it would be different if we were talking about something way more serious, right? Like, if we were talking about some bigotry, some racism, homophobia, things like that, and we didn't agree on something, that would be, like, a really big deal to me, at least personally. But I think it's okay that we don't agree about what happened. Poe? Poe's getting worked up, too. Actually, Poe just hears Noel moving around outside. That's why he keeps barking under his breath while I'm talking. But I want to lose my train of thought, and Poe is just, like, not stopping. So, uh, although now I feel like I have lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, but, like, we're we're literally, like, on, on different pages about, like, who sent this to her and what their motivation was. At the end of the day, I think what we all agree on, or at least what I agree on, <laughs> and maybe maybe you don't, but what I think we agree on is that her response to it wasn't appropriate and she probably should have just not posted it to the internet to begin with, right? We can agree about that. The other thing I will say is people thought that I was um, just giving her a pass because I was saying like, oh, nobody, nobody was saying or 
how did I say it? People were, people were frustrated because I said something along the lines of like, agreed with her that she, that she wasn't like sending hate towards the company. And, and a lot of people were like, Zach, nobody was saying that she was sending hate to the company. And that's the thing is I was just agreeing with what she said right there. I know that that wasn't like the thing that people were the most upset about. And I thought that that came through in the other parts of the video where I talked about <laughs> what happened with Kate Gate. I thought I was clear that like, I, I agreed with her there, but like, I still felt like the thing she should have done is just like not talked about it and apologized about like her response and the way she responded to the situation. So I don't know. I, I think like for me, it's getting exhausting because um, I, I appreciate that that people care a lot about this. But, like, the the reality is, is, like, I'm very consistent in, like, my thoughts and beliefs for the most part. And I just, like, really uh, will not be spending a lot of time, like, continuing to argue with people about it. And I honestly, to be quite frank, am confused why Amber Lynn is still going on about this. When, like, really, she really should have just let this go in the last video. Because I can only imagine that this is just gonna keep this going and I don't know maybe that is her goal maybe her goal is like this is the most interesting drama related thing that's happened to her channel and she wants to keep that energy going but to me it doesn't make no goddamn sense and I'm so ready to be done talking about it that's why I did a whole memorial service for it in my last video now that I'm done um rambling <laughs> let's go back to whatever she's gonna say about this with the person who sent me the food because I want to get a clear understanding of Girl, what it's not going to happen. If I need to apologize. This is also why this is just like so far behind. Her content is so far behind because I could have swore this happened at this point more than a week ago, like, when she posted this on here. Like, we've already realized at this point that most of the people, like, she got hundreds of DMs all claiming to be the person, and there's no way for her to verify that outside of what she's already done. I will do so, because the way I reacted was very much based on how my day was already going, <sighs> slash... Everything else that I am currently dealing with when it comes to YouTube, things that I am currently not talking about. <laughs> <coughs> On top of talking about Cake Gate, we also have to talk about the vague things that are happening that we can't talk about right now or we're currently not talking about. I swear. I swear. I'm so close to clicking off this video because I just absolutely can't. I cannot continue having these conversations. The conversations about Kate Gate, the conversation about fucking, uh, the things happening outside of YouTube that, that may or may not be happening somewhere to somebody with something, but we're not currently talking about it, but we might talk about it in the future. I fucking can't. I'm losing my mind. It was kind of like the straw that broke the camel's back. And I just want this person to be able to speak to me personally. You're doing too much. You've given them. it way too much attention. I want to understand them. And so I posted this on Instagram. And I have gotten You're giving it too over much attention. 100 messages of people saying that it was them. So obviously it was not over 100 people who right. did it. So right. I'm not getting a clear picture. I don't to what kind of supporter would send me I'm I mean bread and a huge thing of pie. I, I want well, to it was, it was cake, wasn't it? Wasn't it cake? <laughs> Isn't that why we're calling it Isn't that why we're calling it cake gate? It was it was cake not pie, wasn't it? I mean, I know that's the last thing anybody cares about in this situation. Stand this person more and I hope they reach out to me. They're not they're not going to. They're not going hello, to. Hello. Uh, they're not going to, and I mean, honestly, um, if they do, I think it's gonna be hard to prove. I did. I do think I saw her say something on Instagram this weekend that was like, "Oh, like the person 
who who did it could show like a screenshot of the receipt or something like that. You know, I, I don't know that it's likely that the person's gonna do that regardless of if they're a supporter or not. <laughs> like, like, I just don't picture that happening, which is why I'm just like, you really need to just keep it pushing, girl. Like, to continue bringing this shit up. Like, I mean, I, I've been saying it from like my perspective as I just like don't want to talk about it. The reality is, is I could just choose not to talk about it. I do 100% understand understand that but I think for you and your own personal like well-being and mental health state I think it would be best for you to honestly move on a and just like to go on to whatever the next controversy is like the thing also about the internet is that typically people I mean I know that they hold on to things for a while but like you give them something else to talk about they will move on to the something else to talk about they, and it'll probably get brought up again in the future cake gate will be brought up probably for the rest of your time on the internet but like move on for real for real <laughs> like you gotta let this die you gotta let it die. Yes, the angle is because I don't want you to see behind me. Why? Because I'm currently in the living room, and I don't want you guys to see our gallery wall because... Then film somewhere else! And I'm super excited to show you guys. Then fucking film somewhere else! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, I mean, film from whatever angle you want, but literally just the other day in a video, you were like, I don't care if you, if you don't like the angle that I'm filming from. Like, if you don't like it, that's just fat phobia. My favorite part is when I am angled like this and you guys say, that's a horrible angle for her. It's literally all because I'm fat. Skinny people vlog like this all the time and no one says anything. It's because I have double chins. I don't care. I don't care. Like, <laughs> I've never cared. I've never cared about showing my body. I've never cared about showing my weight. I've never cared. I don't care. And today you're sitting here justifying the angle you're filming from. I don't give a shit. I've really reached my peak today, huh? <laughs> I've really reached my limit. I don't want you to see the wall behind me, but I wanted to say hello. Good morning. I have my fifth therapy appointment All today. Right. So today is one of them days where I'm like, okay, I feel really good. I'm in a good mood. Work. You know, I'm Love that for you. And motivated and excited for life. Wonderful. But I know therapy, I will cry. I know it's going to get deep. Okay. And I know it's just an hour out of my day, but that hour is exhausting. So I have a, I have an inkling that uh i'm going to be spending the rest of my day until my appointment which is in four hours from now just dreading it <laughs> i know that's like a common thing for people like they just they have an appointment that they dread sure and, like even if it's a short appointment like an hour it just takes up your whole day i mean i i agree i agree with that i also i'm just curious because like you've literally yet to have an appointment where you didn't come on here and already have an idea of how it was gonna go which like to some extent i understand about therapy like there's some appointments for therapy i'm like i know i have a shit ton of shit to talk about and I, I, it's going to be a lot to get through. I get that. It's just, like, so fascinating to me that, like, you all already know every single time, like, how something's going to go. You already have in your head what, what it's going to be like, what the experience is going to be like. And now you're allowing that to take four hours out of your day until you get to this appointment to just, like keep you from doing anything which again I do understand like I get the the vibe even for non-therapy appointments right like I've been there where it's like oh I have an appointment later today and that's all I can think about and that's like what's driving my whole day get it got it good but I'm just like maybe maybe this is also something to talk about with your therapist like I don't know. But, I mean, also, I guess when, like, you're Amberlynn Reed and you're not really doing a whole lot else, like, what does it matter, you know? And that's normal for therapy because that hour just feels like 50 hours of me just using all my brain power to focus on one thing. I'm not good at focusing. I'm just not. It's just so bad. And when I'm focusing on something, like, as serious as what it is... It's, it's exhausting on my mind and 
my mental health and I, my body, but that's fine. I, I mean, I will say that therapy can be exhausting, and it is work. <laughs> I don't know. I just, like, when it comes from Amber Lynn Reed saying all of this, I'm just like, you, you of course, find it to be exhausting and hard work. I feel like you've never attempted <laughs> to do hard work. I know that's probably not entirely fair. I'm sure that there are, there are examples out there, but it's just like... I don't know. I appreciate you sharing, though. I, I feel like this therapy seems to be very helpful and productive for her, maybe in a way, or at least she claims in a way that it hasn't in the past. Although I think I in the last video we, where we talked about her therapy, I did point out, because she had said something like, I've never I've never had a therapist go this deep. And then I, I literally showed a clip from the last therapist she had where she talked about how deep they went. So, <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I'm, like, just skeptical of everything, which I guess is par for the course with Zachary Michael. But, yeah, here we are. I, I really do need to be successful in these therapy appointments. For sure. So, that's just how I'm feeling beforehand. So we'll see how I'm feeling afterwards, All which right. I like to let you guys know how it goes and stuff because it's important to me. Sure. Um, I know some people are like, it's so weird that she's sharing like her therapy <laughs> and stuff. I don't think so. Like, I know. we need to normalize therapy. And if I can help one person like go to therapy, I'm, I'm down for it because it really is helping. So I don't... I, I don't have a problem with her sharing. I just am skeptical <laughs> of a lot of the things she shares because, I don't know, here she says that she's doing it so she can, like, inspire other people to go to therapy. I really think her sharing is more about herself, to be honest. Like, it, it, I feel like, which can also be fine. I feel like just don't say that you're doing it for inspiring others, but like it feels very self serving and in the sense that it feels like she wants to talk about all this hard work she's doing and this, that, the other. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel me? Share much of what we talk about in therapy. Like, I remember last week, it's really been weighing heavy on me. I talked a lot about my dad. Mm hmm. And. In that very therapy session, I discovered feelings and thoughts that I didn't even know I had. So that was interesting, I will say. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go do my makeup and do my hair, and I will see you guys later. All right, so let's go. So me and Celine have been... Ooh, oh, I thought we were going to jump right into what happened after therapy, but we're, this is the favorite meal part. This is the favorite meal part of the title. Did you? is this chopped kit Caesar salad. Okay. Splitting it in half. It's heavenly. So this is the easiest salad well, right, it's, ever. It's literally a bag salad. I, I don't imagine you can get much easier than that, bestie. Obviously comes with the lettuce. This is so annoying. I so do, it's 190 calories, three servings. Per I do not need a, a, a Caesar salad kit tutorial. This is really unnecessary. Bag, so we just split it in half. So it's like 200 and something for the both of us. Uh -huh. so we'll just add the dressing. Oh, I'm so irritated with the way she cut that. And obviously, why did she not just cut the quarter all the way off? She just, one, I feel like wasting so much dressing, two, making it way messier than needed. See, I really didn't need this salad kit tutorial because you're not even doing a good job. You're stressing me out. I'm already on edge. I'm already on edge from fucking Cake Gate and, and the, the stuff that shall not be mentioned that's happening to you off screen that you may or may not talk about in the future. Comes with Parmesan. See, that's what you should have done. That's how you should have taken off the dressing. And then when we first got it, it was like, instead of croutons, it was like these crumbles. And I was uh -huh. like, what the heck? Well, turns out, look at this mess I'm making. Yeah, you turns heave out, it. For these. Like, you heave it. a good crunch. Look at, she just spilled a good chunk of those off the side of the bowl, too. She is such a heathen in the way she's making this salad kit. It's driving me nuts. And then I always add some Himalayan salt and black peppercorn, or pepper, excuse me. 
I'm gonna add some chicken to Feline's. I don't want any, but I am gonna stir. Stir, is that what, we're stirring? This is, this way. Two forks. And stirring just uh, feels like such a fascinating word to use for that movement. That Sally Kit tutorial was so, made me so irrationally upset for no reason. <laughs> it did not have to be that chaotic. Alrighty, so here are our salads complete. Feline's has some rotisserie chicken. Okay. And mine does not, because I'm just not in the mood. And you're a dainty salad girl. My salad, and I just notice as the day is going on, my anxiety is getting higher. I am not in a good mood anymore. Oh dear. So good. And I know it's because therapy. That's all I can think about. Okay. Well, um, get your mind off of now it. Now we are two hours away. Two hours away. And I am dreading it. I know I have to do it, though. It's like one of those things where it's like you you have to do it. Yeah. It's important. <laughs> and I'm about to be real honest. I feel like if it wasn't for, like, weight loss surgery, I'd low-key cancel this appointment because... I don't know, the closer I get. But, but you're not just doing it for weight loss surgery, bestie. Did we... <laughs> Did we not just get a whole lecture about how, like, she's grown so much and, you know, she she would want to be doing this even if it wasn't for the weight loss surgery because she's working on herself. And now she's like, well, if it wasn't for weight loss surgery, I would cancel this appointment. <gasps> This is this is why people get upset with me for being understanding of where she's at because she is so frequently so hard to understand. She makes it so difficult. She does. She does. And also just to have the privilege of having nothing to do all day but just sit there and worry about an appointment you have later in the day. Like, couldn't be most of her viewers. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Like, most people are not in that situation where, like, if they do have an appointment during the day, like, most people usually can't take a whole day off of work for that. And so they have other things they have to be doing. I just, oh, gosh, y'all besties. <sighs> Gotta find my empathy bone. Gotta look for my empathy bone. The worse I start feeling, so. Anyways, I'm gonna finish my salad. All right, you do that. Did we? Hello. Did we get to therapy yet? Um, there was some tears, but I am learning how to manage getting my makeup messed up because I don't. I don't see, we we have a little smudge going. I can't. But you look the same matters. as you always do, bestie. So today's appointment went pretty good. Um, we're now trying to focus more because, as you guys remember, um, I have been officially diagnosed with PTSD uh -huh. due to a lot of things sure. that have happened in my life. I did not. Speaking of things I saw on Instagram, um, and I'm not sure if this is going to come up here or not, but I saw her arguing with people about whether or not she could have PTSD and all of this, I'm just like, just like I'm not ready for this either. <laughs> I'm not ready because I, even in my own comments, I saw some people saying like, oh, like therapists can't diagnose people with PTSD and this, that, the other. And so I'm just like, I, I'm in no place to to like be having any of those conversations. Like I don't know what it takes to get an official diagnosis like that. Like I don't know if it's enough that her therapist just thinks that she has it. I don't know. I don't know, and I'm not here to make that assessment because I have no desire to be any kind of medical professional, mental health professional, etc. Now, I had to share some um, situations in my past that okay. could have caused this, and he wants me to take one of those traumatic times and I have to write like a whole page on it. I have to write like why I think it occurred. I have to consider the effects that this traumatic event um, okay. has given me and the beliefs of how it's made me view others and myself and the world, like safety, trust, power, control. It's all in front of me. And then I have to read a bit on like stuck points, which is also PTSD Work. related it's post-trauma reactions that lead to ptsd we talk a bit about that and like stuck points so stuck points are basically conflicting beliefs or strong negative beliefs that create unpleasant emotions and problematic 
Why can't I say that word? I don't Problematic. know. <laughs> I mean, you can't say most words. Also, you've said, I'm glad you're finally defining what a stuck point is, because you said it like 12 times before we got to this point, and I'm like, I don't know what that is, bestie. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing here. Sorry, or unhealthy behavior. Stuck points can be formed in a couple of different ways. So I'm gonna read a little bit about that, and then um, I have to talk a bit about like what my stuck points are. So that's like my homework for this week. I All would right. say like having to discuss things from my past like in great detail is very hard. Um, it's not a good feeling. It's emotional and it's heavy, and it just right. feels it feels wrong. It feels wrong. Um, but I know that it it needs to be done. So it's right. This is right. This is the right choice for me and to just work on all this stuff um, and hopefully one day be healed from it um, well, all right. and to not have PTSD anymore yeah. because it has obviously caused a lot of problems in my life. So next week will be my sixth appointment and that'll be halfway done with my 12, which I 1000 million percent I'm continuing therapy after the 12 appointments. Oh, but but did you not just say, did you not just say, Bestie, that you would you wouldn't have even gone today if it wasn't for the weight loss surgery? Was that not a conversation we didn't just have? Just letting everyone know. Um, but those are just the suggested 12 that I need to complete. Ugh, wow, we're almost halfway done. We're hey almost guys, there. I actually fell asleep. Um, it is kind of in the middle of the night. <laughs> okay. So end this vlog. Love, love that we just fall asleep in the clothes we're wearing. Love, love that vibe. That's not the first time in recent history that she's done that either. I just haven't commented on it. But now that we, it's happened a, a, more, a number greater than twice, <laughs> I'm like, bestie, what are we doing? What are we doing just falling asleep in our, in our street clothes? Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, we're going to have P.O. Box being interviewed by you. It's going to be a separate video. Oh, okay. I'm so tired right now. I'm literally still, like, half asleep. Work. We'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. I'm going to have to check. Is the, is the interview thing happening in that P.O. Box video she just posted? Or is that going to be an additional separate video? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So much happening and yet nothing happening at the same time. I got to say, as unhinged as it was, my favorite part of today's video was definitely the salad kit part. That was, I don't know, it just gave me something that hasn't been given by an Amber Lynn Reed video at a moment. But please, God, let this be the last time we talk about that stupid cake gate situation. Please, I'm begging you. I know you all love me. <laughs> I know you all disagree with me. I'm just, I just don't have anything else to add that I haven't already said. My feelings about all of it have not changed. <laughs> it really hasn't. It really hasn't. And I'm just ready to move on. So I hope she'll move on soon as well for, for her health and mine. But like I said, if it really gets to be too annoying, I just won't talk about it anymore at all. <laughs> All right, that's all I have time for today. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did and you're brand new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I had so much fun today. I hope you did too, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!